What is up guys? So today we are outside a Barnes and Noble. So I know a lot of you guys like my shopping vlogs and you know, for this video, I'll tell you right away, this is not like, there's not gonna be any fat hauls. If anything, I'm gonna be picking up two books for sure, maybe four books. I've really tried, I'm trying to limit myself. Now I, I like shopping in person for books, but I'm trying to limit myself. I am on a hunt for Rent-A-Girlfriend volume two and three. I know some people aren't huge fans of it, but I really liked volume one. I thought it was really funny. So technically speaking, we're a couple days early for volume three, but Barnes and Nobles always has the plug for early manga. I already called, I already had them uh, basically separated so that it's on hold. Uh, they don't have volume two here though, so I am gonna have to go to another store, which we'll uh, go to afterwards, where hopefully they'll have volume two, but there's no guarantees, I haven't called them. I really don't like calling bookstores and asking if they have rent a girlfriend it, it was kind of awkward i'm not gonna lie it was it was kind of awkward but like i said i'm trying to limit myself so you know i i would really not like to buy more than one extra volume of, of something you know obviously i'm gonna look around but like i said i'm trying to limit myself to one volume per store outside of the two volumes i'm looking for um i may not even cop anything else other than rent a girlfriend but but i know a lot of you guys aren't really here for the giant hauls you guys want to see you know the adventure and what's inside the stores and i know that's typically what i watch these videos for too i kind of like you know seeing what's at people's barnes nobles what's at people's other stores so uh the next store we're gonna go to is newberry comics and some of you guys may not know what that is it's a pretty popular store here on like the east coast might might even just be massachusetts i have no idea but yeah i will see you guys inside and then uh and then do some more car vlog when we're done Alrighty, so we're all done with Barnes and Nobles. I did purchase a little more than I thought about purchasing. I, when I was in there, not only did I see a couple things, but I also remembered something. Uh, so I graduated college last spring and uh, just recently someone, I was talking to someone and they sent me a graduation gift via Apple Pay. And I usually don't use Apple Pay, so I kind of forgot about it. And uh, when I was in there, I remembered about that. So I'm like, okay, I can use that to pay for this stuff. Uh, and then also today, I basically landed a new job that I've been working really, really hard to uh, get to this point. I splurged a little bit. I mean, it's only four bucks, but it was kind of pricey. But uh, let's get into it and I'll explain it a little more. So I secured Rent-A-Girlfriend Volume 3. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it. It's really sunny. It's really glary right here. Uh, we are right in the sun, so it's a little hot. So I'm gonna try to speed this up as much much as possible. But uh, yeah, we secured this early, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna go on a hunt to find volume two. Hopefully I can find it. If not, if not, I'm probably gonna head over to Comicopia, but that's a little farther than where I'm at right now. Like 
these two stores are basically right next to each other. The other one's in the mall, so we're gonna be heading there. Uh, but before we get there, I'm gonna show you the couple other things I got. So I'll be honest with you guys, Dark, Dark Horse really pushed my hand on this kind of stuff. I am pretty afraid of these going out of print. I already know two volumes are kind of hard to find. I think, I know seven is, and I think maybe five is two, maybe four. Uh, but to show you guys what I got, uh, so we have, so hopefully it's not too bright, but we have Blade of the Immortal volume four right here. Uh, you know, I paid full price, which is $21 for these, which is, like I said, kind of a lot. I don't want to usually pay that. But like I said, I'm afraid of these going out of print because I mean, I don't see why Dark Horse wouldn't make these go out of print. They're printing new ones. They've already printed singles of these. So I just, I don't see these staying in print. Next we have volume five. Hopefully you guys can see that. But volume five right here. Uh, another one that's becoming a little difficult to find. And then lastly, we have volume seven, uh, as you can see right here. Volume seven, as you can see right here, is the last one we picked up. I forgot to touch focus. Uh, I'll show you the other ones real quick, just with touch focus, but this was five. You guys can see that better now. And this was four. So really, I mean, some of my favorite omnibuses, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I think this is some of my favorite spines too. I think it's really awesome. Now I read through some of volume one and I really enjoyed it. So this is a series that I do want to finish and I do want to have all of. I, I really don't want to be stuck in a position where I'm having to look, you know, after markets for, you know, ridiculously priced manga. I really hate that. So I'd rather just have this all secured and set. I, I don't really plan on, I don't plan on buying the, the new versions, although they do look a little better than I, than I expected but uh you know i just i really like these versions so the rest of them i should be able to get off amazon and write stuff that shouldn't be a problem so i get those you know maybe next month or something like that um most of them I'm not really in a rush for i think these are uh some of the harder ones to find and who knows maybe i'm wrong maybe you know these are gonna go back in print but from the way that right stuff has it on the website it really doesn't seem that way uh, especially for seven and five maybe it just says like like actually like unavailable or something like that it doesn't even say that they might be coming back but that's enough rambling let's go try to find rent a girlfriend volume two hopefully i can record in there it might be a little strange so uh, i'm not sure if i'll be able to get footage it's usually a little busier than uh, other stores i've been to but i will do my best So I'm back from Newberry Comics. Honestly, it completely sucked. It, you know, they had a decent variety of series, but to be honest, they didn't have like the volumes you need for most of those. Like there was all these volumes mixed, like mi mismatched and, and all this other crap. Uh, you know, this is the type of store where I really appreciate a store like Comicopia or even Barnes and Noble sometimes, but even Barnes and Nobles, they still don't have all the series in order and you know, what you need to collect. So I didn't actually pick up anything from there. I wasn't gonna force anything. They didn't have Rent a Girlfriend, any of the volumes. Uh, I don't know if they carry it. I don't know if they sold out. Uh, it's just not, not a very big selection, but I'm not gonna say it's a wasted trip because I was able to get the other stuff from Barnes and Nobles, which is literally just down the street. And then also I didn't get manga, but I did secure the bag. In bag, I mean Wetzel's pretzels and Auntie Anne's pretzels. So I got a pretzel from each. Uh, I've never actually compared them, so I'm kind of curious which is better. Usually malls don't have both of them. But yeah, that's been it for this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, there's a bunch more stores, uh, more individual comic stores and stuff like that I can bring you to. And yeah, so I will catch you guys later. Big, 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 big.